Congressman Mike Conaway of Texas had a series of town halls today and I asked him to elaborate on his views with respect to Syria, which are doubly relevant given that Conaway last week was named the new co-chair of the House Select Committee on Intelligence, which is investigating, quote, Russian interference. And of course, the role of Russia in Syria is a major factor in the strategy that's being employed there. Yes, Congressman, if we could just ask a brief follow-up on, on Syria very, very quickly, I appreciate your, your time. Um, in, in 2013, President right, Obama... Not, I don't remember yeah. what was going on there, so... no. So I'm sorry, we actually do have to run. Thanks so much. Will your investigation be serious and nonpartisan? How will you ensure that we see resulting transparency and accountability? Good job. Um, well done. Uh, first off, I'm flattered that my colleagues will trust me with the investigation. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to follow every clue, every lead, every piece of paper we need to, to try to get to, to get to the answers all of us want. The answers to what did Russia, what did the Russia do or not do in the elections? What did the Trump uh, campaign do or not do? Uh, is part of that process. We're going to find the answers as best we can. Would that help us in the investigation to not, see not, the not for me. So with the uh, Russian investigation, yes, what I think um, should happen on that is we should really investigate that with the same vigorosity that we investigated Hillary's emails. Because they, everybody was really jumping on that, and we need to vigorously investigate it with the exact same pace. What has been achieved by the strikes last week? Yet? Well, obviously, we, uh, we uh, just, uh, destroyed some number of planes. Uh, we sent a, a clear message that uh, there are reactions to things that, uh, uh, that are beyond the pale, like using chemical weapons, and, and uh, we'll see from there. Do you think, do you have any reservations about the efficacy of the United States attempting to implement regime change in the Middle East? Um, it hasn't been very effective so far. Uh, we need Russia's help in dealing with Assad and uh, whatever regime else emerges out of, uh, out of Syria that begins to put that nation back together. It'll take uh, more than just the United States to make that happen. And Russia's in the best place to make it, uh, to be a partner in that regard. I don't think Iran is interested in, uh, uh, in, a, in a, a government in uh, Syria that would be uh, respectful for the people. So. In 2013, President Obama proposed something similar and you expressed reservations about that tactically. What has changed this time? Um, I'm not sure about what you're making reference to. We actually have to run. I'm okay. so sorry. We've got another event to get to.